Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. I want to share with you a progress report on what's been going on with this tank behind me here and that hole in the head disease that I was battling. I have some uh, good news and some good results and I have about six different things, six steps, and I think they all contributed to helping to clear this thing up, at least stop it and actually get it to start uh, to start looking a lot better on the uh, on the foreheads and the, uh, the head and lateral line of my fish. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So those, those of you who follow the channel, you know that um, I, I went through a series of steps. I put videos on it, uh, all about hole in the head. And uh, I, I am just really happy to report that I'm seeing the actual pits start to fade uh, on the foreheads of the fish. I mean, that kind of damage is pretty major. It's uh, very noticeable, but I am noticing an improvement and a fading back. There is one pit in particular that seems to be a little stubborn, but I think over time it's also going to respond. So what what happened? Well, first of all, you know, step number one was water changes. I did some very big water changes, bigger than I've done ever on this aquarium, and those water changes were about 90%. Uh, so. Those were a little scary only because I've never done that large of a water change on this tank, but I did two of them a week for a couple weeks, and so the fish were in very, very clean water. I didn't see the kind of uh, results, and maybe I was a little impatient, but I didn't see uh, immediate results. And so then what I did was I put them through uh, Paracleanse. I used Fritz Paracleanse, and the Fritz Paracleanse I followed the directions for one round of treatment exactly the way it states on the box, culminating in a water change. I still didn't see it really start to stop and and uh, and and change in any noticeable way. So then I went on to the next step, which was to add uh, add UV. And what I added was this green killing machine, uh, GKM, the green killing machine which is uh, 24 watts and uh, of, of UV that is cycled slowly, slowly through, uh, you know, past a UV light. And you, you can see it here, the green, green killing machine, uh, not sponsored by them, but, and it runs about 80 some odd bucks on Amazon. I'll include a link to, uh, to it underneath my video. So I put that, I put that in place and you can see the water clarity. This water clarity is amazing, absolutely amazing. I am getting a little bit of micro bubbles from the green killing machine. I can just drop the output a little lower in the tank and that, that should disappear into some micro bubbles. But otherwise, this water clarity is, is unbelievable. Then, apart from that, I started using this, this product here, which is called Vitachem. And it is a combination of, uh, of just about every vitamin you want in an aquarium. It's made by Boyd Industries. The same people that, that make the, uh, you know, the Chemi Pure Blue, Chemi Pure Green, uh, Chemi Pure Green, and, uh, and then it also has a lot of amino acids in it. You can see it. I've been using this one drop per gallon. And it says one teaspoon equals 50 drops. So I put a couple teaspoons in here after a water change. Now, what else am I doing? I'm also using uh, Fritz, the Fritz A plus salt. And I think that that is also making a difference with each water change. I'll put one tablespoon for every five gallons of water. The initial dose, one tablespoon for 90 gallons. And now I'm doing it for the percentage that I, I, I replace on a water change, okay? I think we're on the mend. There is one or two little pits that still need to, to get better. But overall, I think this aquarium is looking a lot better. You tell me what you think. Uh, you know, I think their foreheads look a lot better. The AC Hecali, it's almost all gone. Can't even tell. And the other ones, it looks like they're healing. So you tell me what you think. Maybe I'm just seeing what I want to see. All right. And uh, comment below and we'll talk more about it in the Saturday Cichlids and Coffee live stream every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. If you want to watch the uh, full sequence, the full series of Hole in the Head, I'll, I'll include links uh, to the videos around me here. 
And if you want to, if you want to subscribe, uh, just, you know, just tap me in the face uh, right here and uh, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.